For this week's Tablet Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to display just the top end records, but retain the percent of total for just those top end. It's a little bit tough for me to describe this, so let me actually show it to you in an example. So let's say that we want to look at maybe regions by subcategory. And we just want to do a simple bar chart of sales. And what we want to do is we want to show the top five within each region, and we want to label the bars by the percent of total. Okay, so to label the bars by percent of total is pretty simple. So I'm going to take sales, drag it to the labels, and then I'm going to make this a quick, uh, I'm going to add a table calculation, and I'm going to make a percent of total product subcategory, and hit OK. Now you can see when I lasso just this first set of records here in the central region, you'll see it adds up to 100%. Okay, <clears throat> so the next thing that I need to do is I need to be able to filter the top five. So I'm going to do that through a simple rank calculation. So I'm going to click on Jeremy up here in the dimensions area and click on create calculated field. I'm just going to call it my rank sales. And the formula is pretty simple, it's just the rank, of the sum of sales. Hit OK. And I'm going to convert that to discrete because I know that I want it on my row shelf and I want it to be a blue pill. So I'm going to convert it to discrete and then I'm going to stick it between my region and product subcategory because this the sales rank will now uh, help me with my sorting. So I have to edit this table calculation for my sales rank and I'm going to go into the advanced window, set my addressing to my, the hierarchy in my view, which is region and product subcategory. And then I wanted to restart every region. So I hit OK. And now you can see I've got 1 through 17 here, 1 through 17, etc., all the way down. Now what I want to do is I want to keep the top five within each region. So to do that, and notice how now um, I've got this nice little ranking of my, of my, uh, of my bars and they add up to 100%. Let me go ahead and format my percentages, make them a little bit cleaner. So I'll make them maybe maybe 1%, something like that. And if I want, um, yeah, I'll just leave it as, as, I'll just leave my bars as sales, and then when I hover over, you can see both the sales and the percent of sales. So that's good. <clears throat> okay, so now what I want need to do is I want to uh, allow my user to decide how many product subcategories they want to view. So to do that, I'm going to click on Jeremy again, and I'm going to do Create Parameter. I'm just going to call it my top N. I'm going to make the data type integer, and then just hit, uh, maybe I'll default it to, let's say, 5, and hit OK. And then I'm going to right-click on the parameter and choose Show Parameter Control. And you'll see now I've got 5, I can type 10, I can type any number I want in there. So what I need to do now is I need to create a calculation that's going to basically compare my sales rank to this parameter. So again, I go back to Jeremy, click on Create Calculated Field, and I'm going to say uh, Rank to Show, and I'm just going to say the rank of sales is less than or equal to my top N. And this is going to result in a Boolean calculation, and I'm going to drag that to the filter shelf. Choose the True option, and I should see just my top five. Okay, so from here, I need to edit my table calculation, and I just want to make sure that my sales rank is still computing the same way, and it is, so I'm just going to hit OK. From this point, I can uh, uncheck my header for my sales rank, and you'll notice how these numbers do not add up to 100% now. They add up to, it looks like, uh, what, 10, about, about 50%, something like that. So my top five only make up 50%, so it didn't recalculate these to just... Uh, the percent of total for those five records, it's still maintaining the percent of total for the overall region. And that's what I was looking for in this example. So from here, I would go ahead and I would format my view and reduce my row, di my row dividers so I can get a little cleaner look here. I'm going to switch to my favorite font, which is Avenir. Uh, I'm going to bold and unbold everything to make them all non-bold. And uh, from that point, uh, you know, you could show the, the sales rank if you want. Uh, so maybe I'll turn that back on. But this time, maybe I will format these. And I'm going to go ahead and make the format a custom number with no decimals. But I'm going to put a dot on the end. 
and then I'm going to right align them. So now you can see I've got a nice little uh, ranking of my of my uh, my sales, and I like how it has like a one dot. You know, maybe I could go ahead and if I hide the field labels, it hides it for all of them. So I don't really want to do that. So maybe I'll just rename my rank to just my uh, I'll just call it rank instead. Okay, so now I can make this a little bit thinner, something like that. And we get a nice little, it looks like they belong together, one through five. So now my users can come in here and they can maybe pick the top 15. And you'll see it goes one through 15. Or they can pick maybe they only interested in the top three. Whatever example they want, they can now get to. So again, the idea here was to be able to retain the percentage. Um, so right now, you see I'm looking at my top three. This looks like it's uh, what 30, about 38, 39%. Uh, make up the, the top three within the central region. And uh, I, I didn't want this to recalculate to just, you know, uh, about, you know, th what, 40, 30, and 20%, something like that. I just wanted it to retain the overall, uh, the overall percent of total. So I hope that helps. And if you have any, qu any questions, feel free to let me know. Thank you very much.